December 2019, the month when it all started. For the dangerous coronavirus. Few weeks later, the coronavirus slowly infiltrated countries aside from China. 27th of January 2020, the first confirmed case in Canada was reported, alarming everyone about the outbreak. Breaking news in Ontario. Authorities started taking measures in flattening the curve, hindering the rapid increase of casualties. Another month passed, and on the 24th of February, my wife gave birth to a healthy baby girl, our firstborn. Everything stopped at the moment she cried, and tears of joy came falling. It was pure bliss. Two days after, we went home on a snowy day, the last stretch of the Canadian winter. Several days passed and the pandemic worsened, penetrating countries like a wildfire, swarming with the curse of death among humans. It was probably the worst month of March in history, and change became drastic. Empty streets, noiseless malls, crowdless fields. People stayed indoors for isolation, and socializing was standardized on a two-meter radius. Seems like a battle every time you step out of the door. Now, it's the 18th of April, the fourth month of this crisis. However, it's a special day for us. It's our second wedding anniversary, and two years after I married my soulmate, here we are staying home while watching movies, enjoying life in its simplest form. No dinner reservations, no fancy clothes, no jewelry, just her, me, and our little princess on her onesie. As the chaos consumes the globe, we're here, embracing the comfort of each other's arms, a refuge from the world outside. Awakening our senses and keeping ourselves thinking. This pandemic may have brought us terror in horrifying numbers, but it kept our family and loved ones fighting together, making us value life more than anything that this world could offer. So against this foe, we stand as one. With God's help and aiding hands, be optimistic and stay negative. Yo, what's up, Earthlings? I'm Ted. And I just want to make sure that everyone's doing good and staying safe at home. So in this video, I shared my thoughts on the effects of the ongoing pandemic, but I focused on the positive side of it. So even though we have social distancing physically, emotionally, and spiritually, we are intact as human beings. So being connected to our family and loved ones at this moment is giving us hope in dealing with this crisis. So thank you very much for watching this video. And I hope it opened up a new perspective in dealing with this crisis. And I just want to say that you're awesome. And be thankful that you're safe right now. So we can get through this. Just think positive. Be optimistic. And stay negative. That's all. Thank you.